So, Windows 10, do you have it? Do you want to keep it? Or do you want to upgrade? Windows 10 now directly upgrades to Windows 11 25 H2 as Microsoft pitches AI-powered productivity. I will link you to this article so you can go over here and check out it in its entirety. So, what is all this about? Let's jump into this now. But before we do, you can throw me a thanks. It is completely free by doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. If you are thinking about updating your Windows 10 to Windows 11, and keep in mind that Windows 10 is done, it's over, it's finished, but you can opt in for ESU or extended security updates if you want to and keep Windows 10. And if everything is working on your system, and there's really no need for you to update it, aside from the fact that you go, well, I wouldn't mind having Windows 11. If you know anything about Windows 11, you probably wouldn't say that. But in any case, if you are considering updating from Windows 10 to Windows 11, please be warned that it will install 25H2. And some people have been having problems with that version of Windows 11. If you update for Windows 10 now to Windows 11, I, I suspect this is for most users, you will be pushed the 25H2, not 24H2, and not 23H2. Of course, if you opt out of updating Windows 10 to Windows 11, you can stay with Windows 10 and just go with the extended security updates. How long will these extended security updates last? That is anyone's guess. Now, Microsoft has a way of nagging you to death. If you have a local account, they will continuously remind you to get a Microsoft account for a whole bunch of reasons. You'll be more secure and you'll be able to opt into all of this, you know, fabulous Office 365. I am personally not interested in any of that stuff. All I use Microsoft Windows for now, and this is unfortunate in a way because I used to use it as my primary operating system for everything, gaming, productivity work, video editing. I don't use it for nothing other than gaming right now. And I have Windows 11 installed and I have a local account. You can still create a local account. Just really Google Chris Titus. There are ways if you have for example, Windows 11 Pro, there's a much easier way to do it. But again, Google it, you'll find out how to do that. And actually, I did a video uh, on that a little while back. So you can have a local account, but Microsoft will nag you. Um, you can have Windows 10, keep using you know, Windows 10 with the extended security updates. They will nag you, though. They will remind you to update to Windows 11. They could even remind you to get a brand new computer system. You mightn't be able to afford it, and that's certainly understandable in this economy. And they're going to tell you, of course, that you know it's for your own safety and security, these evolving threats and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. 